feet are big enough without these scissors. Well, I've been given my skills. I've been taught how to breathe properly, to clear my mask, to uh, unblock my ears, and I'm ready to go. I mean, I'm ready to go. Part of the adventure of going on the Aussie Duck is, of course, the... So the question is, to quack or not to quack? I was reading the paper recently. Yeah, I can read. That's not a handhold, that's a divot. And if you want to get a real sense of porpoise, are you ready to have your butt whipped? I think it's the other way around, isn't it? I don't think so. Oh, the breath! Can you give us any tips? No, I can't do it. And there's only a couple of centimetres between your butt and the bitumen. It feels like 320. Then the aerobatics really begin. Well, I always thought that I lived life in the fast lane, but I realised this week that I'd barely gotten out of first gear. Now, the rule of thumb in the Territory is that if the water does not have chlorine in it, it probably contains crocs. So naturally, I'm going to go for a swim. Yeah, you might have won today, but next time, OK? It's beautiful. <laughs> I think this year it's going to be all about boiler suits. Boiler suits, goggles and silly helmets. What suit here have you got? Large, it's large and a five-point harness keeps you safe and secure. Yeah. Is my hair all right? They're successful people, and there's a reason why they're successful, and it shows out here on the track. Well, I got a really good start in the race. Went flying into the first corner. Second corner, boom, caused a major accident. Became known as the Queen of Carnage. Perfect volley straight to Michelle Walsh's side. My car spun, and then I just looked, and I saw Ben coming towards me, and I'm going... <laughs> Finished fifth last, but what a fantastic week. It looks perilous, but the fly by wire boys have overseen, or maybe that should be underseen, more than 5,000 safe flights in the past five years. Each wild ride lasts about six minutes. Well, I'm about to leave the mainland and explore the islands in my salty dog sea kayak. This is actually a computer. Compu <laughs> this is going to be so this season. So we went to a great party. Once uh, once the show's finished, we got invited to a bulimia party. The cake jumped out of the girl's mouth. Hi, I'm at Surridge Pine. I think the facial expression will be a lot different once we're up there. <laughs> I think I should have my head red for doing this. Awesome. Beep, scared. Five, four, three. That was. That is just the most insane thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> we sent Aussie model Michelle Walsh to explore its wonders. The lodge is totally connected to Australian Aboriginal culture. Right. I'm not quite so cocky when it's time to go solo. Okay, you're solo. Now just right up against the back legs is where you got to go. Oh, is that as hard as I thought it would be? Half hard. <laughs> This is just the cutest big baby I've ever seen. I have to say though, sitting on a croc isn't as nerve-wracking as feeding one. <laughs> a mouth that big and you missed? My mum used to collect everything from the Kmart brochures through to uh, some of my better work in the Victor Lawnmower catalogue. Um, has your mum just got like the most amazing scrapbook ever? She has. She's, she's actually got things that, you know, we've got sort of packed. No one else is <laughs> ever allowed to see it. Sweet. From one extreme to the other. <gasps> I selected a little take-home pack for myself. The 18 later. Beautiful, beautiful baby. You have less than 20 seconds remaining. 